Hello ladies and gents, I am the Rev, and this is The Outer Worlds, and we are back. Thank you for joining me. And we are right here with the Space Crime Continuum. Enter the secret lab in Cascadia. That's right there. There's a secret lab. So, and I just basically came running down here. There's a couple of monsters, nothing real big. But now... Together. Oh, go. Oh, you suck, dude. Oh. Uh, yeah, this guy behind me. I have 90 to open that bad boy. Probably gonna be a lot of real bad stuff in here. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a, a new weapon. You can come around to the side here. Whoa! You just gotta get the mines. I love it when they scream like little girls. Yep, like I said, they sealed that off. You can't get through there. All right, let's see what we've got in here. What we have here are scum need to be taken out. Good job, girls. Hmm. I wonder if that is the uh, medical girl, uh, lady. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, the one with the iron class? Oop. One second. Yeah, okay. What's up here? Ooh, a locked door. Damn, some nimble fingers, Captain. That's right. I'm one lock picking SOB. Five to determination, heavy grade face mask. Purple berry launch. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so it, it, it launches mag race. Yeah, I'm not going to let anybody use that because, uh, ooh. As we learned in a few episodes back, when you use those mag rays, you need to do it at a distance. You get too close, and you got issues. Oh, dang it. Well, there's got to be a way up there. Oh yeah, there's another entrance. Oh, where'd you guys come from? Oh. Rizzo's, huh? I think there were some inside stuff. I just didn't remember where to approach it from. That's right, we're still looking for the uh, entrance to that secret lab. Oh, no, I have her review. I may make things a little bit more interesting. funny There we go. I bet nobody set foot in here since Cascadia fell. And it does look kind of like a dead place, doesn't it? Making it look easy. Yes, I do try. Well, 
Because that looks like it's about it. Do that outside or inside? Looks like outside. Oh no, that's right. We've got to go in here with all these little buggies. Big fan of the flamethrower. Watch your step, Captain. Someone's got traps all over. Okay, so if you try and go through here, yeah, it hurts you. Don't think there's a terminal to shut it off. We can use this ventilation system to solve our bug problem. Manosaurs need an oxygen-rich environment, more than we do. We drop the oxygen levels a bit, we can suffocate them. Here, see? Done. Won't be but a minute before they're all rolling around, desperately trying to figure out why they're dying and why they can't stop it. The more you study your prey, the less chance they surprise you. And I hate surprises. Good score, Cap! She's really scary. Huh? There's the control. And these guys are all dead too. Now for something twisted and wrong. Why are these dudes in suspended animation? Hmm? See, now you could have uh, come through, shot them all up. Obvious what happened. They uh, busted through. Nice.
If only they were always this easy to kill. No doubt. This is a little something you can do. You don't have to do it. See if I can do it and not die. The funny part is um, the AI tried to follow me. Oh, they did not do well. Actually, you do want to do this because of this. Mind control ray. A uh, misfound form of a research group specialized in market, uh, marketing jingles. That's funny if you read it. But that's the only place you can find that specific one. Now comes the hard part, and that'll be getting down. Getting back to where we were without dying. Is making me a mite nervous. Should be good now. Did him out of order. Uh, let me take a look, see. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I'm thinking if I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tanks to hold this Ulta Wada Biddle stuff. Just gotta compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas. And the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I gotta isolate the empties. Absolutely, Captain. No worries. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. Oh, I just... just did my thing. You know. I'm impressed. I would have just tried to blow the thing up. There is that. Okay. No, we gotta go outside to... Ooh, more goodies. At least they had a gun to finish things off. They're slowly starving to death, which would really suck. All right, where is... Oh, look at that. We came out of the office there. Cool. Oh, there it is. There's the old ship. Ada isn't really alive, but it 
sorry. She can still talk like a person. What about Sam? What's it? Sorry. He, is he the same thing? Well, Sam's an auto-mechanical thing, not a computer brain thing like Ada. I don't think Sam understands gender, so you can call him it if you want. Right, but she's a machine, he's a machine. How are they different? You know how I said Ada was special? Her wiring's a whole lot more complex than Sam's, so she can simulate a personality better than he can. She got more tools in her box, so to speak. Hmm, so he's following his own rules, making everything obnoxiously clean because he has to. Maybe I ought to let up on him a bit. All right, are you done, girls? Okay. Okay, so we need to go back to the Moonbreaker. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Sorry, Groundbreaker. There we go. Oh, I need to talk reached. to the Groundbreaker. What's her face? Oh, where is she? Up oh, there she is. Hey, come here. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. Ooh. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. Oh, boy. I don't know where it's leading yet or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the veil, they didn't... They said I was cold. It's not cold. It's a question of never, you know, having the opportunity. Let's see. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto-mechanical... You start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking. Isabel? Who's. Who's Isabel? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Thanks, Captain. Here we go. We'll just put I'll her off. Oh, that was weird. Oh, get off me, girl. You're... Ugh. Jeez. Hmm, you know, 
Well, we're gonna. Oh, I guess we're gonna take her. <laughs> All right, we'll see if she barks off here. And it's about, hey, let's have a drink. Or if we can just run on through. Over our stuff. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started and you're already on the path to a promotion. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Yep. Catherine sounds pleased as a pig in shit over cornering the Borst markets. Hmm? Hey. When you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? I knew it. I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? I've got a lot on my mind, but... It's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up, assuming you're still interested in work. They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? How big we talking? Not like Groundbreaker big, right? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Glad we understand each other. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. All right. Wow. Okay, folks. Ooh, yeah, she just gets uh, weirder and weirder. We're probably going to do that epi uh, that mission uh, in a future episode, of course. Because then she gets really wonky. But we'll probably go to Monarch. Back to Monarch. We still got two main quests. Whoop, hey, pardon me, dude. To do there so if you haven't already jump on that subscribe train and if this video helped you out in any way shape or form please hit the like button so i know i'm doing a good job trying to help you guys out show you variations on all the quests and all that other good stuff tubes require evacuating no no not those the ones in port yes there thank you 
And while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to that? Exactly. I really? have felt this clean and efficient since Captain Hawthorne installed my subalternate auxiliary backup processor. Damn. Anyways, folks, keep your heads down. Hell guns up. And I am my kinky, I guess, spaceship. We'll see you again real damn soon.